I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To surpass him is my real test. To beat him is my cause. Monkey D! <laughs> Yo, peoples, and happy Thanksgiving for those of you that celebrated. I bring you yet another One Piece chapter reaction and review. So let's get to it! We've been on break, and I cannot wait to see what we get in this chapter. So, chapter 886, That's the Way I Live. Now, I'm just reading out the title beforehand, but we have a color page... A full-on cover color page. Thank you all for your support over the past 20 years. Everyone's Luffy. That's an expression. We've collected together 101 covers and all your line requests to make this set of color pages. WCI Arc, also known as Whole Cake Island. Climax. How is the fight between Dogtooth and Luffy going to go? I'm not even going to get into it about how I don't like it being called Dogtooth. The, they come with special drawings by Oda himself. More info on the 20 year anniversary card set on the cover, on the, uh, on the previous page. So, we have the Straw Hats falling down a ravine, waterfall ravine with the rainbow going down the side. And everybody's ecstatic. Sanji's cool, he's doing his classic cannonball, Luffy, you know, he doesn't know how to fall any other way with arms outstretched and enjoying the ride. But Nami, Brooke, and Chopper are not too happy about it. Nami screaming for her life. Brooke screaming for his life. Oh, but he's already dead. Yo! -ho -ho. And Chopper is falling alongside a pink armadillo along with Usopp. With Frankie just enjoying it. Zoro looks sleep. And Nico Robin has to be the most polite and ladylike out of it. She's the most professional out of it because she's sitting on top of an armadillo upright. Just falling in the ravine with everybody else. Robin is so chill, but moving on to the page, and we always have, and first and foremost, before I even get, before I even get into this chapter, there's, there's a lot, I know those of us who celebrate Thanksgiving have a lot to be thankful for, but as a One Piece reader and a person who can't understand a lick of Japanese, I want to say thank you to all the translators out there who put time and effort into making it so that we can understand all that's being sent to us from Japan and scanned in from Japan. I want to thank all the translators who work tirelessly to make sure that we get a coherent, we get coherent sentences and things that characters would say. Thank you to all the translators who spent all this time doing this for us people who don't understand Japanese or can't read kanji or anything like that. Thank you for all your efforts. Moving on. Everyone, make way! We're going to carry the cake to the harbor now! Whoa, that's amazing! They're already done? Come on, let me scroll down the page! They've already baked up the form of it! What a glorious fragrance! Once it's done, I'm sure even Mama will enjoy it. What a happy aroma. Am I in heaven? And this is the frog voice because one of the people there is just, like, a frog. I do Lady Pudding Lady Chiffon and the WCI 31 would pull through. Let's hurry! Mr. Husband, why the disguise? I'm the shy type because he doesn't want anybody to recognize him. Come on, let me scroll down the page. It always seems to move a little bit slow whenever I try to record and look at things at the same time. Oh my, Ch 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 Chiffon, my daughter. And Oven is looking on, all silent-like. Come on, let me scroll down the page. Like, I don't get why it moves so slow like this. But I'm thankful that I get to read One Piece at all. It's like, okay, can I, can I scroll up and down now? Thank you. Wait, pudding! Brother, oh wait, it's oven. Wait, wait, pudding. Brother oven, please make way. 
I heard that we'd made it. We'd head off Mama's eating fit here on this island. We're going to finish the cake on board our ship and deliver it to Mama at sea. Come on, next one. Are you really suggesting that we let a rampaging Mama come around to Chocolate Town? If we just contact Brother Perils, we can easily arrange a meeting at sea. I see. You're right. I understand, sister. You may pass. I'm glad. Thank you, Brother Oven. But you, Chiffon. This is the end of the line for you. Dude! Oven just straight up bodied Chiffon! Dude, what is going on with you right now? Oh, how terrible, Lord Oven! Why'd you do such a thing? Why'd you do such a thing to your sister? Let us take the cake to the harbor. Huh! Blood or not, mutiny is a grave sin. Sister Chiffon, Brother Oven, please, stop! Crap. What should I do? If I fight here and reveal who I am, they'll take in Pudding as part of the mutiny, too. My favor won't be repaid until I make sure Nami and the others are completely, sa are completely safe. I will see this cake through to the end, brother! They saved Lola's life! I have to honor it! Oh, wait. Is this a bigger page? No, it's just a side-scrolling. I hate when it does that. Come on, next one, next one, come on. And they're all just on looking. This isn't some sibling quarrel or rebellious phase of mine, Chiffon. You took part in the mutiny that sought to kill our queen. I never thought I'd have to use my own hands to deal with my sister, but... Stop, please, brother! An example must be made. This is our country. Crap, I don't think I can ponder this much longer, huh? Get your hands off Chiffon, Oven! Yo! Pound! Get your hands off Chiffon, Oven! I'll save you, my daughter! Who is that? Like, Chiffon doesn't even know who her own dad is. That's a shame. Come on, next page, next page! I'm tingling with anticipation. Come on! Don't do this to me! I have no idea who this guy is, but... Okay, thank you, Sanji. I never thought we set you adrift. I thought we set you adrift at sea. And he's using his uh, heat abilities to literally get ready to hit Pound. But Sanji disappears, and he intercepts! Interception! Sanji coming in with that clutch. Is his cover blown, though? He nails Oven in the neck. I'll just do this so fast that no one will be able to see me. Yo! That way I can still save him. Yo! Sanji just went supersonic! So no one... He literally just... Jumped in in between oven and pound to save Chiffon, and he's moving so fast that no one can see him, so he can't blow his cover. Yo, yo! I'll just move it. I'll just do this so fast that no one will be able to see me. That way, I can still save him. Yo, and oven gets bodied. And he grabs Chiffon, and they literally just disappear. Yo, does this dude know Flash Step? Does he know Shunpo? Does he know Sonido? Yo, I cannot stop grinning. This dude just went like, oh my goodness. Dude, just, I'll do this so fast. No, because I can't get over that right now. And Pudding is looking at it because Pudding saw that. Pudding was able to see that because she's looking at him and her nose is bleeding and her eyes has hearts over there like, that's my man right there. <laughs> oh, and Oven's getting up and he he's wondering, wow, he can't, he can't even, no one knows what just happened. No one knows. Oh, I guess I'm stronger than I thought. Huh? Did that man just wallop Lord Oven? 
Who the heck even? Who the heck is even? Who the heck even is that old guy anyway? Huh? Chiffon? Where'd she go? And Oven gets right back up and pretty much bodies pound. There's no way you did that. Bobby! Why? It keeps. Okay, these. Okay, uh, now I understand why it keeps going off to the side like this. But still, no one knows what happened. Oven knows that that pound couldn't have done that. Who was that just now? Oh, so he managed to, I guess he managed to get a glimpse of Sanji to tell that it was him, to tell that someone else did that, but Sanji still moved fast enough so he couldn't tell. Hurry, to the harbor. Sister, please, stay hidden. Please, make way. Blackleg saved me, but who in the world is that huge face guy? Like I said, Chiffon and Lola don't even know who their own father is. There you are, Chiffon. Dude, Oven caught up to him quick. Ugh! Yeah, please, no, brother Oven. We need Chiffon to finish making this cake. Oh, Chiffon, stop. Get your hands off Chiffon. And he's saying this because his entire body is swollen, so I make it sound like a swole up, beat up person. And I don't know. On to page 12. Oh, bit it, 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 bit it. Bit it, bit it. What is it now? Gotcha. Lord Evan! Beige's ship are heading your way towards Kako Island! We're on his tail in our paddle ships right now! We should be able to corner him at the harbor! Beige, it can't be! <laughs> and here I thought he was a bit more cool-headed. I guess he's come for you, eh? Perfect timing. Put me on the loudspeaker. Beige. Kako Island in front of the highland. In front of- in Kako Island in front of the island. That's good English, I'm sorry. Kako Island in front of the harbor. Beige! It's me! It's Oven! Come on! Oven? Oven? I've just captured Chiffon, your accomplice on Kako Island! Oi ya boy ya! The madam? I'm faithful to the letter of the law. Sister though she may be. I will not hesitate. And like my page just froze up in here. More at the harbor. Come ashore and surrender. Any funny business and that'll be her end. Hogya, hogya. What is that? Who's saying that? Oh, there, there. We'll save mama for sure. Wait, who's, who's saying all this? Oi, there, there. We'll save mama for sure. I don't even know who's saying this right now. We're heading toward... We're heading over to the harbor. Right now, ourselves. I don't know who's saying this. Oh, okay, he's saying this. Any funny business and that'll be her head. We're heading over to the harbor right now, ourselves. Okay, so I got it square. Hmm. And Bay doesn't say anything at all. Like, the, the life of his wife is on the line. Beige, take everyone and just get out of here. It was my decision to come here. If you get caught, you'll all be executed anyway. Save yourselves, at least. Mama always hated me. You guys were my only real family. Just promise me that one day, get revenge on my behalf. Madam, how can you say such a thing? Quit your yapping, Chiffon. And he slaps her. Yeah! Oven! We'll be at the harbor soon enough. We'll come ashore as you said. Don't raise your hand against Chiffon anymore. Hogya, hogya. Is that a ship doing all that? I don't know who's saying hogya, hogya. I don't know who. I don't know who. I don't know who is doing that. I can't make a voice for it. Duh. Move on to the next page, at least. It's like trying to load up all these ads at once, but I don't want it to. Beige's ship is coming this way. All soldiers, full alert. Battleships, flank them. Cut off their escape routes. Ha ha ha. I can see Beige's ship. Lord Oven's carriage is approaching the harbor. Huh? Woo! Somebody just took out Oven. A cannonball straight to the face. Load this next page, I need to know. Yeah, they shot Lord Oven! 
What just happened? Lady Siobhan! You big dummy. Take a good look, Pays. That's the way your daddy lives. That's the way your daddy lives. Father! Yo! Beige coming in with them husband goals. I'm not about to let you hurt my wife no more. So I'm about to come in here and about to lay the law. The beige law. Well done. What's next? I'm right behind you, beige. Fire tank pirates, you are completely surrounded. And he's just smiling, looking at him. Oh no, we've been made brother up. Oh no, we've made brother oven mad. Uh, should I be con- Should we be concerned? And he's just glaring at all of them. Back to the sunny? The sunny. I can see the shadows of several ships out there. We're finally here, huh? Prepare for our incoming fire. We've just escaped. Can't let them get us. Okay. You know, proper, hmm? tonight will be a full moon, huh? What does a full moon got to do with anything? Load the next page. I want to know. Elaborate, please. Chipstown coming in. Straw Hat Luffy's appeared here. Coming in from Edup Town, eyewitnesses report of eyewitness reports of Straw Hat Luffy. Straw Hat appears through appears through be appears through be running wild through Mirror World. Appears to be running wild through Mirror World. Did Sister Brule get captured again? Greentown here. Some residents report seeing a strange. What are you even trying to do? If you really want to run, then just head straight for Kakao Island. Huh? Wait, how'd you? I overheard you. Hockey gets used up. If this hockey gets used up, if this fight drags on long enough, his observation hockey will definitely start to get weaker. Hui hui. I guess you're not as stupid as you look when it comes to fighting. Come on, load the load the last page. Come on. But that won't do. Luffy, Luffy. Oh, we get flashbacks to Rayleigh. When's the last time we've seen Rayleigh other than a cover page? Luffy, I have trained you, but the flower of hockey only truly blooms in the extreme conditions of real battle. I'm just I'm just going off of his English dub actor, you know, when his voice gets uh, kind of graggly like this. The more you face off against strong enemies, the stronger you will become. I wonder if I can get myself to see it too. A little bit of the future, I mean. Don't get ahead of yourself, Pixqueak. I want to surpass him. I want to defeat him when he's at full power. All one billion berries of him. Yo! You better talk to that woman, Luffy. Fight to transcend. Yo! Luffy is channeling Goku right now. He doesn't want to fight Katakuri at half mass. He wants to fight him at full strength. Only then can he say he really beat him at full power. Oh, what billion berries of him. Yo, this chapter was lit. I love it. Fight to transcend. This chapter's over. I'm gonna take a walk. No, I'm not because I got to talk about this. This chapter was awesome. I'm sorry if I'm raising my voice. Please forgive me. But this chapter was amazing. This one single panel. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, let's start Let's start off all the things that were good. <sighs> so, we get... The cake is finished. As far as the form of it, they all have to finish it on the ship with, due to the uh, rendezvous point. And they're going to meet up with the rest of Straw Heads. Don't remember eating that. Mm. And they come into contact with Oven, who promptly bodies Chiffon due to the part she had in the mutiny against Big Mom. And this is met with response from her father who she doesn't even know is her father to come and try to come to her aid but of course oven prepares to beat him up and then Lu then sanji comes in he he you know how you already know how sanji is he hates the mistreatment of women as do i and he 
can't ponder the thought of Chiffon being beat up by Oven, so he wants to intervene, but at the same time, he doesn't want to put his identity at risk and thus further complicate the plans. But Put Pound comes in to her aid, and in order to save both Pound and Chiffon, Sanji literally has a Quicksilver moment and set and moves so fast that no one can see him. He not only saves Chiffon and Pound, but he knocks back Oven and then grabs Chiffon and then still manages to get her away all within the fraction of a couple of seconds, possibly even a second. He bodies Oven, sends him flying into a building and saves Chiffon within like a couple of seconds and he moves so fast that no one sees him though oven t catches a glimpse because he can tell that it wasn't pound that hit him and he says who was that just now and he ends up bodying a uh, pound and they end up running towards the coast oven catches up to them and he then has beige on the other line of a den den mushi and sort of tries to hold chiffon uh, hostage and tells him to meet us over at the harbor and no harm will come to chiffon otherwise there will be dire consequences so beige seeing as he's is a faithful husband and father he makes his way over to the harbor but he shows that you don't mess with another man's woman especially if that man is one of the supernovas who happens to be a very powerful devil fruit user who also has his own powerful crew and he bodies oven in the face bodies him in the face he literally shoots oven in the face with a cannon and says like take a good look pez pez is his son he says this is how this is the way your daddy lives and he just just shows his he just shows his baby son that this is how your father does work and he's prepared to do battle with oven in order to save chiffon and i get ah, wow there's there's this this is this was just such a good chapter oh and we haven't even gotten to the good part yet i'm just doing a big quick surmise then we cut to uh the sunny where choppy chop choppy I was thinking Nami, but said Choppy, but Chopper. But Chopper, Carrot, Nami, and Jinbei are all awaiting for the pretty much ensuing battle that's about to happen. And then Carrot, out of nowhere, says, it looks like it's uh, going to be a full, tonight will be a full moon tonight. Don't know what that means. Maybe it's something related to Minx. Maybe it's something that happens to Minx during the full moon, so maybe that might be it. I don't know. But we then see that all over the different islands across uh, the entire whole cake uh, territory, across Big Mom's territory, is we're seeing people saying, hey, we're seeing Straw Hat Luffy here over in uh, Eat Up Town and all these different towns, and he's just jumping in and out of mirrors in different towns. And he's what? Hold on, I gotta look at this chapter again in order to in order to fully elaborate on this, because the the way he's the what he says at the end of this chapter just pretty much sums up that Luffy has to do all. Let me just look at this chapter again. Hockey gets used up. If this fight drags on long enough, his observation hockey will definitely start to get weaker. So, Luffy knows that as long as he continues to drag this out, Katakuri's observation hockey will drain out. But, hockey gets used up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to piece together what he means by hockey gets used up. If this fight drags on long enough, his observation hockey will definitely start to get weaker. So, he sees that with him running like this and Katakuri using his observation hockey, it gets weaker. But he says that he wants to... F he's, he even says that he, wants, he wonders if he can see into the future. If he can learn what Katakuri learned. 
in order to see into the future. If Luffy learns to see into the future like Kanakuri, he's gonna be straight up OP. He's already strong as it is. If he learns to see the future like Kanakuri does. I don't even know. But then he looks back onto what Rayleigh taught him, and Rayleigh says, Luffy, I have trained you, but the flower of hockey only truly blooms in the extreme conditions of real battle. But that he won't, he doesn't, he doesn't like the fact that if Katakuri continues to use his observation hockey, he'll, he'll start to get weaker. Because Luffy says, that won't do it all. The more you face off against strong enemies, the stronger you will become. I wonder if I can get myself to see it too. A little bit of the future, I mean. I want to surpass him. Luffy wants to surpass Katakuri, who we've seen has got to have one of the strongest examples of observation hockey. Luffy wants to surpass that. I want to defeat him when he's at full power, all one billion berries of him. The, oh, good God, this chapter was good. Thank you, Thanksgiving. There's not much more I can say about this chapter. Let me know what you thought about this chapter. I cannot, and it doesn't even say we're on break next week. Look forward to it. So I hope you all enjoyed this chapter. Can't wait to see you in the next one. And I will see you all in the next One Piece chapter reaction and review. So have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. And now uh, once again, as always, later peoples!